Is it over? Yes, I see no more enemy soldiers. However, something is bothering me. What is it? I noticed that during the fighting, our opponents, they were soldiers of Kaelin. I even recognised some of those who we fought. I trained with many of them, and yet they attacked us without hesitation. They're black-hearted traitors who have joined Lord Lundgreen. Good riddance, I say. It also means less resistance at the castle. I hope you're right. Ah, oh, wow. I'm just glad Nils and Ninian were with us. If that first shot had hit me, I might not have survived. We are honoured to have served you well. We won't let you down. I know, I'm relying on you. Yay. Mm. What's this? You dealt with the ballista too? Where the fuck were you? Nicely done. Matthew, where were you during all this? I went to the village to sniff about for information. I got some interesting news for my trouble too. Let's hear it. Oh shit, it's getting serious. First, about Marquis Kalen's illness. He really is unwell. He's been abed for nigh on three months. Oh no, grandfather. I heard an interesting rumour about his condition though. The people believe that someone's been poisoning the Marquis. He's been poisoned? And this someone. Well, everyone's too afraid to mention a name. However, they say that as soon as the Marquis took ill, a certain noble took control of the castle uh, as though it were his own. I fed a hungry innkeeper some coin and he fed me a name. The Marquis of Caelan's own brother, Lord Lundgren. How can this be? How can they allow him to get away with this? The villagers know he's the one poisoning my grandfather and yet no one raises a hand against him? Why? They are afraid and they lack proof. The whispering of the common people means nothing. That's the truth of it. And of the Marquis's loyal retainers, who might have lent credence to these rumours, there is no sign. Are you saying they're being silenced? It's a fair assumption. This is beyond believing. The worst news is yet to come. What? There's more? An impostor appeared claiming to be the Marquis's grandfather. At least, that's the story Lundgren's telling to all who will listen. What does that mean? It means the people are waiting for two traitor knights and a bast and a, ba <laughs> a bastard child, a baseborn child, to appear and lay claim to Castle Kaelin. But, but that it can't be. Traitors? Us? Ridiculous. He says I'm an imposter. Don't you have anything to prove your lineage? When my mother joined the Lorca, she brought nothing of Lycia with her. My lady, Marquis Arafain himself remarked you at your remarked at your resemblance at Lady Madeline. Your face is your proof. They'll say we found a lookalike somewhere. We're, we're seen as betrayers of our knightly vows. Our word means nothing. No. Our only hope is to see Marquis Kaelin himself. We must hurry. If not, my grandfather. I must see him with my last breath if need be. But we must formulate some manner of plan. Even if we set out for the castle, the troops patrolling the area will cause no end of problems. We have been, we have been branded as... Uh, Oathbreakers, after all. I've got it, Elliwood. He seems sympathetic to our plight. He should still be in uh, Catholic. If we can talk to him, he might help us. Of course, a sound idea. Let's hurry. Yes, back to Catholic. Damn. So everyone's gonna think we are like fucking betrayers and shit. That's some bullshit. Lynn and her friends have been branded as traitors, pretenders to the throne. Lundgren has sent word to Kaelin's neighbours, warning them of Lynn's approach. What a piece of shit. He calls for reinforcements to put to an end to the imposters. If the other realms of Lycia choose to act, Lynn will never reach Kaelin alive. Now if I have anything to say about it. Lynn places her faith in Elliewood and waits. Now oh, fucking you mean Roy. <laughs> Chapter 9, A Grim Ye- <laughs> A Grim Reunion. Uh, oh, look at this place. I've received word from Kaelin's neighbours, Los Tis Tiscana, Catholic, Tena and Zanturas, Santarus. They will not inter interfere in Kaelin's affairs. This they have promised. Elliwood, I don't know how to thank you. All I've done is uh, convince them to remain neutral in this dispute. However, this means I cannot aid you in any way either. Will you be alright? I will win. I have to. It's the only way that I can help my grandfather. I understand. 
Although I cannot help you directly as a friend, I pray for your success. Thank you. I won't waste the opportunity you've given me. And we're off. Oh shit. Alright everyone, let's get going. This, we this weather is turning foul, it looks like a fog is rolling in. This is no good. If the fog thickens, we'll be blind in battle. It will be difficult to fight what we cannot see. We can't let it delay us though, let us press on. We must get closer to the castle. What's the best route? Let me think. Uh, our best path is to the south. However, that runs through General Eagle... Eh, runs through General Eagler's estate. It looks like we still have one final obstacle to pass. Oh, uh, fuck yeah, pick units, hold on. Trade? We should trade some stuff uh, around. Let's see, uh... Can we actually, like, hold on. Can I pick units? So, Glenn, can I do anything with our items? I guess not. Okay, let's screw it. Let's trade. Um, there was another... What was the weapon that I picked up? Uh, Nils, you picked up. Yeah, the fucking... Uh, with Lynn. That with... I guess the Vulnerary. We don't need two of them like that, so... Yeah. There we go. And then if he's if he has some, then he can like trade them to somebody who needs them at some point. Um, what else have we got? Uh, okay, so she's got that. He's fine. He's fine. Iron Axe, Iron Axe, Iron Bow. I think everyone else seems to be okay with the stuff they have. Why does he have a door key still? Um, yeah, I think that's it. Pick units. Who do we want? Uh, I guess Lucius would be actually quite helpful with the lightning and stuff. Um, who do I not want? Who do I not have? Uh, well, sorry man, you're out. There we go. I think that'll do it. Save that. And start. Alright, so we got these pricks. Red, put me in the lead, please. Surely you know that we are thieves, that we are thieves, if you must, can see through fog. Oh, we can? Okay then. So you've come. Ah. You, your Lord Wallace. Kent, who is this? He used to be the commander of the Knights of Caelan. Aren't you supposed to be retired? I heard you were sow sowing fields now. I am, and I was. Then I received orders from Lord Lundgren. I was told to capture an imposter and a pair of rogue knights. Lord Wallace, surely you don't believe us to be oathbreakers, do you? Bring me the girl who claims to be Lady Madeline's child. What are your intentions? If I don't like what I see, I will take her. We will prevent you. You? Prevent me? You must be. Enough! I'm right here. I am Lindis. Ah. I, I'll understand if you don't believe me, but I've had enough of you and your foolish posturing. Hmm. Such beautiful eyes. Pardon? I've been a knight for 30 years, and there is one thing I learned. A person with eyes as bright and true as yours is no deceiver. Ha 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 ha. Ah, yes. I like you, girl. Why, I believe I'll even join your little band of mercenaries. Uh, are you serious? This old Bill's pledged his loyalty to Caelan. I would never allow an, a usurper on the throne. Let's march. Oh wow, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I was expecting to have to fight this guy. Lord Wallace, he, he hasn't changed at all. I like him, he's honest. That he is, he deserves our respect. Oh wow, cool, so we got something new. I planned on living out my days in peace on my farm. Oh well, it looks as though it's time to take up arms once more. Red, you're the tactician of this group, correct? What are my orders? Oh wow, so... A level 12 knight. Damn! He can rise as high as level 20. Most units can uh, change class once they reach level 10. Ooh. By changing classes, units can improve all of their abilities. Movement, range, constitution, usable weapons, everything. There are many benefits. With a single action, you can make your units significantly more powerful. In order to, che uh, in order to change classes, units... You need to be of a certain level, however, you also need a special item. For example, Wallace is carrying a knight crest. With this, cavaliers and knights can change class. Each character class has its own unique item that allows units of that class to switch. Okay, select Wallace, uh, then select choose knight crest from his items and use it. 
Alright. Uh. Boss. Haha, <laughs> so you've noticed my night crest, have you? You're have uh, your eyes like an eagle, my friend. Once I've used the crest, I'll be even stronger. A terrifying thought, isn't it? What are you waiting for? Order me to use the night crest. Alright, fucking chill. Jesus. Use. Oh my god, Willis is evolving! Da 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 da! Fucking Christ, he. <laughs> wow. He does look pretty badass. God damn, he's so powerful. Holy shit. You can now use an axe thing. Ha 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 ha! Look, a giant walks among you! My defense is impenetrable! Come, break your weapons against me. Now oh, this guy's fucking ridiculous, holy shit. Alright, um. Oh god, so we've got these three pricks. Eagle are. There's this and uh, So we've only got these two guys here. And then these fucks. So that's interesting. Uh, Alright, well you know what? I think we're probably going to stop here. Um, next time we shall continue on with this battle. And hopefully seize the gate of uh, this place. Whatever the hell it's called. I forget. But yeah, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys then. Goodbye.